हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इन एवरीडे लाइफ नॉलेज ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इज नेसेसरी फॉर दोज हु डेवलप एप्लीकेशन फॉर यूजर्स अनफॉर्चुनेटली मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव ग्रेटर डिफिकल्टी विथ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग देन दे डू हैव विद द सिंटेक्स ऑफ द कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज द आर्ट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग इज लर्निंग मल्टीपल टेक्निक्स एंड अप्लाइंग दोज टेक्निक्स टू specific problems when students learn basic programming and problem solving techniques they can then concentrate on the syntax when learning specific languages in today's video we are going to discuss the problem solving in everyday life let us start welcome to our channel engineering and technology for you if you are not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe and press the bell icon now first let us understand what is a problem see the oxford dictionary defines problem as a doubtful or difficult matter requiring a solution so when you have doubt in your mind that leads to a problem then something hard to understand or accomplish or deal with so that is a problem because we can't deal with it easily so it is hard to understand so we call it as a problem so we are constantly exposed to opportunities in life at work at college or at home but we are unsure how to take advantage of an opportunity and that creates barriers so that's why we can't take the advantage if there are barriers so these barriers can turn a potentially positive situation into a negative one so that we call it as a problem then let us the the introduction people make decisions every day to solve problems that affect their lives problems may be as important as choosing a new profession or unimportant as to what to watch on television or what should be uh, the breakfast so if a bad decision is made time and resources are wasted so it is important that people know how to make the decisions well so if you make the decisions well the problems will be solved there are six steps to follow to ensure the best decision these six steps in problem solving include the following identify the problem understand the problem then identify alternatives ways to solve the problem then select the best way to solve the problem from the list of alternative solutions and list instructions that enable you to solve the problem using the selected solution and last evaluate the solution so let us see these steps in details say the first step towards solving problem is to identify the problem so in a classroom situation most problems have been identified for you and given to you in the form of written assignments or problem out of a book so when you are studying any subject at that time you write the assignments so the problems there are identified however when you are doing problem solving outside the classroom you need to make sure that you identify the problems before you start solving it so if you don't know what the problem is you cannot solve it so that's why you must learn the art of problem solving because you will come across the problems in day to day life so you need to solve them then second step is understand the problem so you must understand what is involved in the problem before you can continue towards the solution so this includes understanding the knowledge base of the person or a machine for whom you are solving the problem if you are setting up a solution for a person then you must know what that person knows so here the different set of instructions might have to be used depending on this knowledge base for example 
you use a more detailed set of instructions to tell someone how to find a restaurant in your city if he has limited knowledge of city then if he knows it well so that's why you must know the knowledge base then when you are working with computers its knowledge base is limited instructions the computer can understand in a particular language or application we are using to solve the problem is limited so knowing the knowledge base is very important since you cannot use any instruction outside this base so you must know your own knowledge base you cannot solve a problem if you do not know the subject so you must be able to communicate with your client and able to understand what is involved in solving the problem when you are actually going for developing a software then at that time you have to communicate with the client and understand what is his problem so that you can solve it then the next step is identify alternative ways to solve the problem so here this list should be as complete as possible because we must take into account all the alternative ways to solve the problem you must want to talk to other people to find other solutions then those who are identified that means you can make use of the experience of other people for the alternate solutions so alternative solutions must be acceptable one for example you could go to from denver to los angeles by the way of new york but this would probably not be an acceptable solution to your travel needs i have taken an example from usa similarly you can have examples from india that is the solution should be acceptable and it should be feasible without any say, other constraints then the next step is select the best way to solve the problem from the list of alternative solutions so when you have uh, different solutions then you have to select the best one so in this step you need to identify and evaluate the pros and cons of each possible solution before selecting the best one so in order to do this you need to select criteria for the evaluation here is where your imagination what is likely to happen if you proceed with each of your possible solution what will be the upside that means what are the advantages what will be the downside that is the disadvantage and some options will have two sets of consequences short term and long term so you have to consider all these so this criteria will serve the guidelines for evaluating each solution and then you have to choose the best solution then the next step is list instructions that enable you to solve the problem using the selected solution so here the these number step by step instructions must fall within the knowledge base set up in step 2 so no instructions can be used unless the individual or the machine can understand it that's why you have to be careful this is very limiting especially when working with computers so that's why when you are solving problems using computer at that time you have to take into consideration the knowledge base and the limitations of the computer. then the last step is evaluate the solution so once you have the solution you have to evaluate it to evaluate or test a solution means to check its result to see if it is correct and see if it is satisfies the needs of the person with the problem if the result is either incorrect or unsatisfactory then the problem solver must review the list of instructions to see that they are correct and start the process all over again so this is what happens when you are deploying any software if software is correct and it satisfies needs of people then it will be accepted 
widely otherwise it will will not be accepted and it will be rejected by the people so that's why this problem solving you have to understand and learn to get the solution then with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future video then thanks for watching have a nice day